How's it going YouTube? Dom here. In this video we're going to do number 1167, Minimum Cost to Connect Sticks. So this is a Leco Premium problem, but uh, I'm preparing for my LinkedIn interview, so hey, he, here we go, and I'm practicing heaps here. So you have, an, you have some number of sticks with positive integer lengths. These lengths are given as an array of sticks, or sticks i is length of the i stick. You can connect any two sticks of length x and y into one stick by paying cost of x plus y. You must connect all the sticks until there's only one stick remaining. Return the minimum cost of connecting all the given sticks into one stick in the array. So for example, we have 2, 4, 3. Oh my god. White. 2. Four and three. All right, and the output should be fourteen. So we know that two plus three is equal to five. We also have five plus four is equal to nine. Then nine plus five is equal to fourteen. Right. So this is what we're outputting here. So this, the explanation of this problem kind of sucks, but that's basically the premise of it. So what do we do here, right? So how do we get this 2 plus 3, right? And how do we do it efficiently? Well, one way we could do it is we could, you know, sort this array. So we could go 2, 3, and 4. And then we could add for loops, you know, for this element, you add them together. Right, you remove these two from the array, and then you replace it with five. And then you do the same for this, five plus four, but you have to find, and then you store it in say a hash map here, right, in order to keep the memory of it so that you can add it later, five plus four. And then what you could do is then you could finally add the sum of the values in the hash map, and that would give you your answer. However, this wouldn't be a very uh, efficient solution here. It would just be an O of N solution. How can we make it better? Well, one of the things you could do to make it better is, as I hinted in the beginning of the video, is going to be a heap, right? So let's use a heap. So we're gonna initialize a min heap. We're gonna add all our values we're going to do our operation of adding the min heap values together, right? Two, 2 plus 3 is not 4, it's 5, but you guys get the point. And then you put the values back in the min heap, and then you go about it again until you have one value inside of the min heap, right? So let's do that. So we first set our min heap to be an empty array here. And then what we do is for stick in sticks, what we're going to do is we're going to push the heap into our array here. So heap push min heap. All right, so that we're here, we're adding. Alright, so now what we have to do is I'm going to initialize an answer called ants and I'm going to initialize a variable called rope, right? So we're going to do while min heap is greater than one, right? So this means while our rope length is greater than one. So basically what we're doing here is we're adding all the values into our min heap. So two, three, four, right? That's really ugly, but whatever. And then what we want to do is we want to pull out these elements like two plus three, add them together, five, stored in our answer variable right and then put these values put the value of five not two plus three but five 
back inside our min heap and we know that if we do a min heap the five is going to go over here and then we do the same thing right five plus four is nine right and then we put the nine back in the array and then nine plus five nine plus five is going to be 14 and that's what we're going to return in our answer here right sorry this is getting really really ugly the min heap right so let's do that so we're gonna have rope is equal to heap pop min heap plus heap pop min heap then we're gonna add the value of the rope to our answer so answer we know is zero at the current moment and we're gonna add the value that we got from our rope. And then what we do is we add it back into our, uh, into our heap. So we're gonna add it back to our heap by using heap push. And we're gonna do the min heap and we're gonna do rope. Can't type right now. And lastly, we're going to return answer. For stick and oops. Wall min heap. What? Oh, I forgot length. So it's the length of the min heap, right? Because you want a rope that's of one length. So in this case, it would be 14. And that should work. And we see here that's faster than 67.16% of solutions. And this will result in us having an O of N log N runtime complexity. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.